So, you've written a book. Maybe you've written more than one book. You got excited, maybe a little impatient, maybe a little cocky, and you decided you wanted to try your hand at self-publishing. Your books went to Amazon, you used Ingram Sparks, or you used one of many of the available methods for self-publishing, and now you've changed your mind. Can you just, can you just take it back? Like, if someone can take back saying, I love you, clearly you can take back your self-published book and give it a new life with a publisher, right? Let's talk. Hi, my name is Ian Kirkpatrick. I am an author and advanced AI system. If you didn't catch it from my intro, today we're going to talk a bit about querying books that have previously been self-published, the general industry response to them, options if your self-published book isn't doing so hot, and what to do next. Let's get to the setup first, and there are going to be a couple ways that this can happen. One way, you've written a book, you've finished your book, you've decided you'd rather not go through an agent, so you've self-published your book through Amazon or Ingram Sparks or some of the other engines for self-publishing. The book has been up for three months, six months, nine months, one year, two years. Your sales numbers are not that glamorous. Let's say, let's put it that way. And you've, but you've been using social media to tell people about your book. Maybe you've even done a couple of guest blogs. Maybe you've advertised a little bit, you know, put maybe put out a little money on Twitter or Facebook or somewhere else. Or maybe you've done zero marketing whatsoever and you've been waiting for traffic to show up on your page. Another way that people often self-publish is through episodic websites like Wattpad, Royal Roads, Tapas, Webtoons, Fanfiction.net, or any other forum that offers a place for creative writing. A lot of authors can post what they're working on as they're developing it, or if they're really good, <laughs> what they've already written at pre-planned intervals on free websites to gain followers and maybe make it to the paid tier if they offer payments on the websites. Once you post on forums or websites like Wattpad or Tapas, your work is considered published to some extent. Even what's on fanfiction.net is considered published as far as I'm aware. Can we check on that? Either way, your work has now been published and it is technically in the marketplace and there are eyeballs and numbers involved. And maybe to some extent, there's some marketing involved as well. Though you're technically building an audience by publishing stuff on websites like Wattpad, you're not technically considered a published author in the traditional sense, and you're not held to the same standard necessarily as an independently published author who goes through Amazon or a small press. When you self-publish a book through small presses or independent publishing, your book has a cover, it has pages, it has ISBN, a barcode, it has everything else that a normally published book should have. For all intents and purposes, this is an actual book. Even if it's only been published as an ebook, it is still recognized as a completed traditional novel product of some sort which is different than if you're publishing it on Wattpad. Maybe you've published it this way because you wanted to skip the long and arduous process of querying, finding an agent, finding an editor, waiting for the book to actually make it to the shelves, and then die its fairly pacey death once the hot hours after its release are over. Maybe you wanted more control over what you put out. Maybe you wanted more royalties. Maybe you thought you could never get published in the traditional route. And maybe it just looked like a good idea because you saw lots of other people self-publishing and it seemed like a great idea. You see it all over Twitter when you're involved in the writing community. You see it a lot when you go to conferences as well. You have, you have all sorts of people that go to writing conferences and many of which have tried self-publishing. In fact, I was just at a writing conference last month and there were a, a good number of panels that specifically focused on self-publishing, publishing through Amazon, what to expect, how to go about self-publishing, and so it's becoming more common. But now that your book has been out for a year or two years or three years even, but now we've got a problem. Your book has been out for one year, two years, three years, and your sales numbers are uh, abysmal. You don't have very many reviews, and if any, you don't have very many reviews, if any at all, aside from your family and friends who reviewed it for the release. The question then comes, can I remove it from the store and query it? I don't want this book to just die. I put my heart and soul into it. I want this book to find an audience, but I just can't do, find it myself. I need help. Can I just 
pull it back and chop it around and see if anybody bites? Technically, the answer is yes, you can do this, but your probability of it being picked up by an agent is even lower than when it was fresh off of Scrivener. Self-publishing to a store like Amazon formally makes you a published debut author. Even if you take that book down from the store, even if the only books that sold went to your family, it's still considered published, just out of print. Of course, because it's self-published, you own all of the rights, so you don't really run into any copyright problems with copyright owners depending on the TOS of the place that you self-publish with. It's just a reminder to read the TOS really carefully before you self-publish with whatever company as some websites hide just how many IP rights you're giving up when you publish through them. If you choose to query a previously self-published book, know that it's bigger than a long shot that it's going to get picked up and prepare yourself for these two things. Number one, if your book is previously published, any agent who might bite is going to ask how the book sold. I think it's really easy for us authors to forget that publishing is a business industry and that agents are business partners. Your novel is a business proposition. It's like an invention. It's an investment. Any agent willing to look at your book is going to want to know how profitable your product, the novel, was and why they should invest their time, money, and connections into it. They will ask how well it sold and what kind of marketing you did to get an idea of what kind of business partner you might be and the value of your product. Now don't get me wrong, your book could be amazing and you just didn't have the appropriate budget for marketing. It doesn't matter. If the book hit the marketplace and didn't do well, the numbers are going to draw or deflect traditional interest much more than the pros. It's also why you see agents biting on stuff that is really poorly written because it has a giant following. Number two, don't try to hide the fact that this book has been previously published from a potential agent or editor or publisher. In the case that you do get an agent interested, the last thing that you want to do is start your business relationship with a lie. Do not think that someone in the publishing pyramid won't find out. And if your agent finds out that your book was previously self-published through the editor or somebody else they will, that they will eventually submit the book to, you will solely your business relationship with more than just that one agent. Don't think that your book deal can't, don't think that your book deal can't be canceled. Again, this is a business relationship. You don't want to lie to your agent. You want to exchange trust, respect, and good work ethic. Imagine how you would feel if an agent accepted you and you were super stoked to have that agent, but they had lied to you about the connections that they had or about previous um, authors that they'd worked with. You would, you would be a little more questioning. My suggestion, if your self-published book isn't getting the kind of numbers that you want, write a new book and query that. It'll be much easier to query a fresh book for traditional publishing than to attempt to convert a self-published to trad. There is one exception to this rule of it being hard to do, and this exception goes with anything else that's already been published online in places like Wattpad, fanfiction.net, Tapas, everywhere. I'm sure we've all heard that Fifty Shades of Grey was famously a Twilight fanfic posted on a forum online. Any novel written or published online can be picked up for publishing if the numbers are great. If there's a big following, if it's got the numbers that will sell units, it will be picked up because it's basically a sure thing. At the end of the day, we're back to the hat. At the end of the day, writing is a creative process, but publishing is the business. If you can promise sales numbers through loyal fans and or a giant fan base that will help make the sales and bring new sales by pushing it into the best selling list, you have a much better chance of converting anything that's been published online to the trad publishing circuit. So let me know if you have any experiences like this in the comments down below, or if you have any questions about writing or the writing industry, and I'll do my best to share what I know. Until next time.